Okay, so this is my second video on the Drake and Kendrick beef that's going on. Uh, the first one, I just kind of talk about how Family Matters is way better than the credit that it's getting for. You can check that video out. This one, I want to talk about um, just the whole thing in general. And you you know, the, you know, the level of skill that, that is coming out of this situation is it's actually i'm not going to talk about that what i'm going to talk about this video is on the spiritual side of things i think all of this is really happening because you know y'all gotta understand man okay and and i'm i'm, I'm just going to use spiritual terms very loosely okay i'm not trying to get religious i'm not trying to none of that i'm just speaking very loosely okay so God, God has a war to win out here. Okay, seriously, God is at war out here. And I'm not God. Okay, but if I was trying to win a war, I'm grabbing any of my best soldiers that I, I, I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that Drake don't have any of that thugism in him, okay? Who knows where it's at more or less? But he's easily and obviously and totally, okay, more on the side of good than he's on the side of evil. And I'm speaking about his actual nature, okay? Not what he is now and what he's selling now or putting out now for whatever reason he's doing it. I'm just talking about the guy's actual nature, okay as a spiritual person and an energy reader okay he he he's more on the side of good than evil so you know you y'all y'all gotta understand man when 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 god what when god wants something god gonna get it y'all don't understand well you know whoever don't i didn't mean to get too aggressive whoever don't understand that needs to understand that he's gonna get it so that's why a lot of god's people have some level of protection on them because you know i can even speak from personal experience that god before i you know became uh on the level have the level of discernment that i have now that keeps me help navigate me through life pretty efficiently honestly before i've had that i can tell you from personal experience anytime i was in a situation i had no business being in okay whatever it is okay money uh prosperity female you you name it if i had no business being there even if i couldn't see it at the time but god clearly knew it god was like we're done here buddy we're that's enough fun for you we're we're done here buddy and something will inevitably happen that would just separate me from those people so I'm just using me an example because I know I ain't the only person this happens to. They say that that's that's to my understanding, that's kind of what's, what's happening with, with, with Drake right now. It was like, all right, man. Uh, honestly, Rick Ross was kind of right in one of his first videos where he was like, Drake stayed outside with the niggas too long. When, when he was talking about that, <laughs> When he was talking about that, he was actually kind of right. He stayed outside. He was doing the foolery for a little too long. God let you dip, okay? We have free will, okay? And and, and there's a law of non-interference with the universe, okay? God let you dip. You can dip in the ocean all you want. You get too far, all right, homie? Really then, really then, really then. It's time to get focused again. So... I think that's just what's inevitably happening and you know it's, it's it's just the path that he was going down so it was there was meant to be an inevitable disruption uh that 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 would happen it was inevitable just on the spiritual side of his life and where he was going so that's just kind of what happened you know from a spiritual perspective with uh with with, with Drake and in this situation, he he just, you know, God, you know, I I think it's a disruptive. If you look in the tarot deck, I ain't got my deck with me right now. Um, matter of fact, let me go grab my deck. 
all right i got my deck here and um you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm not going to talk to y'all like you're slow but you know just start to wake up and understand that the spiritual world is real so i got my deck here okay and i'm gonna tell you what's funny when i grabbed my deck i haven't touched this in a week i had no idea what was what when i grabbed my deck i said it'd be real funny if the card that i'm looking for which is the tower card would be on top i grabbed it it wasn't on top i said oh okay that's cool i moved one card down the freaking tower card okay i can't make this stuff up that's a true story believe it if you want to the tower card this is why tarot decks have the tower card in it one side says disruption the tower and the tower in reverse says what denial okay this is a disruption this is a disruption god will cause a disruption in your life to try to get your ass back straight and that's why the opposite side of this is denial because that's you in denial of it but this is no doubt some type of disruption situation to get drake back on the cool path and if he could see that and just kind of wake up to it and say oh man i did get a little bit too deep in all that gang ties and mob wars and all of this stuff man let me just go back to making you know let me just chill man let me just lighten up if you literally look at drake's songs starting from the beginning of his career okay to where he's at now in on, on the level of vibration and and happiness and just having fun with it it literally just goes like this it literally just goes like this he just starts having less and less and less and less and less and less and less, and less fun and you know just getting so serious but you know you need to you know make some more just go home, we're going home. You know what I'm saying? Man, man, come on, man. Have fun with it again. So I personally think this is some type of disruption in Drake's life. You just get the boy uh, back on track. So that's why I'm going to keep this video. Make some more videos about this. I'm going to just go in. I don't care. SLRD is what we do.